Hello everyone, welcome back to the Sports Wall. I'm your host with the most Jersey, Joe Archino, and I'm certainly here not talking about something they definitely didn't expect to happen. Very out there news, but I mean, it's very shocking and a little bit saddening for me. I mean, Patrick Willis just got out of class and read the story that he plans to retire tomorrow, and really interesting story because, I mean, for Patrick Willis, a guy like him, I mean, you, it's just not something I ever would have seen coming. I mean, he's 30 years old, which is certainly not young young by any standards, but I mean, this is a guy who did have an injury last season and missed the final six games, but I mean, Patrick Willis is a guy that we've seen dominate for so long. I mean, remember him coming out of Mississippi and just being in awe of watching this guy in the football field. I mean, he was kind of one of those first pieces where you kind of saw the 49ers were getting back on track to those winning ways. I mean, you just look at, I mean, for me, he was one of the best linebackers I've seen during my time. I mean, obviously there's been a lot of great ones, but when you talk about what a guy who epitomized just toughness and, and technique in understanding where to be at the right time. Patrick Willis had all those things. I mean, he was by far one of the best linebackers I've watched in a long time. The guy was just tremendous. I mean, when you look at that 49ers linebacking core with Bowman and with Willis, I mean, they had such a great linebacking core. Headline, of course, by Willis. And I mean, I just remember watching him for so long and just being in awe constantly of how good this guy was. I really always thought he was one of the best defensive players in the league. I mean, he showed it time and time again. And this is very interesting news because I mean just kind of blindsided and it's kind of showing you when you look at the 49ers collectively what's going on there I mean what what's happening with the organization with the ownership there we saw Harbaugh said that he didn't I mean he, the 49ers kind of gave up on him they he didn't want to leave it seemed like they wanted him out and for a coach of his caliber I thought it was ridiculous I mean Look at the amount of winning that he did. Sure did a lot of it. I mean, the guy was a phenomenal football coach, transformed that team, and they were consistently failing. He comes there, turns them into AFC, cha- AF- and puts them in the AFC championship game. Then they go to a Super Bowl, and the guy just flat out did a lot of winning. Now you have Frank Gore. He'll most likely be leaving. You have a new head coaching regime, which, let's be honest, I'm really not expecting that much out of. I mean, I watched an interview early, early in the new campaign's um, tenure, and they just weren't even answering any questions. I mean, it just kind of, I think that the 49ers were kind of on top of the mountain, and that mountain certainly seems very far away at this point. And now you look at Harbaugh and where he is in Michigan, he said he really is. And this 49ers team, I think there's a lot of uncertainty. I mean, Patrick Willis not just from what he represents on the field, but off the field, which is one of the main themes why he wants to leave, as it seems like he really wants to give back to his community, spend more time with his family, all things you could really understand. And I mean, I think it's kind of interesting because we see a lot of NFL players where you look at a lot of guys today and they're just a mess physically, operation after operation. The game just takes so much out of your body you really a lot of guys can't function normally physically look at Earl Campbell I mean the guy just can't even walk anymore it's sad to see what this game does to so many people and I know they sign up to play the game but I mean when you look down the line is it really worth having the rest of your life not being able to physically be comfortable for that short time and I just don't know if it is I mean when you look at a guy like Barry Sanders who went out I mean I think he went out the right way I mean he played and he dominated for for a good span and he walked away and it doesn't seem like he's suffering from the same type of ailments a lot of guys are so Patrick Willis maybe the last injury was kind of a wake-up call for him and and we're gonna see it more and more now a lot of guys now, some people admit, I just want the money for now, and then I'll worry about that stuff down the line. But, I mean, I think sometimes guys like Patrick Willis are just showing you what it means to them. And when you look ahead a little bit, that's very important. But it's just a 
very, very surprising decision to me, but I understand it. And look, I give Patrick Willis all the support in the world. I got to enjoy him just stellar play for a pretty long time. The guy was just outstanding. I mean, it just kind of makes me think where I would rank him in terms of the best linebackers that I've seen during my generation. Look, I mean, obviously Ray Lewis is right, right at the top, but I wouldn't put Patrick Willis very far behind. I mean, like I said before, just when you look at a guy in terms of his technique, in terms of his his physicality, in terms of just being in the right spots at the right time and just being a force that you couldn't account for on the field. Patrick Willis just had all those things. The guy was just a dynamite defensive player, just a guy that I would have I would take on my football team at any point. So Patrick Willis it seems like tomorrow he's going to call it a career, and I think that kind of showing you where this 49ers team is going. A lot of uncertainty, tumultuous offseason, their head coach leaving. Colin Kaepernick, you had stories this morning that they were shopping him. So right now, if you're a 49ers fan, man, I, I don't know what, what's going on there, but I, I wouldn't be very happy with it. I just, I think when you look at how things have kind of shifted you had you were right there on knocking on the doorstep AFC championship game you were in the Super Bowl and now I gotta be honest I don't even think you're a playoff team right now with Colin Kaepernick losing Frank Gore losing such a good valuable head coach now you've an unproven guy you're losing one of your top tier leaders on defense the 49ers have, have dropped off considerably, and I mean, it kind of is now being headlined by Patrick Willis calling his career an end, and good luck to him, and I know he's going to have a lot of success in whatever he wants to go, whatever he wants to do. He's a very bright guy. I mean, if he wants to do something in broadcasting, I'm sure people would line up to take him because the guy is just... If you want to know football input, he's a guy I'm going to go and ask because he was just a tremendous player. I, I can't even stress how much. I mean, maybe people didn't watch him as, as closely, but I mean, I think for the most part, if you were watching a lot of NFL football on Sundays, he was a guy who always stuck out to you, and we all kind of know how good this guy was. But that is going to do it for this segment. Be back in a little while with another one, but thank you for listening. <laughs> 